All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So now that the link level system is finally available on the global side of the game as well, I want to quickly show you guys the best possible stage that's currently available in the game to farm the link levels of all of your different units as quickly as possible. Now real quick, before we get into it, I do want to give a massive shout out to all of the JP content creators out there like Truth, uh, Nolar, Talon, so on and so forth, for spending the last month testing out a bunch of different stages and a bunch of different events, finding the best stage for link leveling, and of course, sharing that information with all of us. This video would not be possible without them, so I definitely want to give a big, big shout out. And with all that said, let's talk some link leveling. And for anybody that hasn't been keeping up with the news recently and don't really know what this whole link level system is all about, basically with the new update 4.11.1 on global, which should be available by the time that this video comes out. Although I can't say for sure because we're currently in the middle of a 26 hour maintenance that could be extended once again. And I'm not really sure when it's going to end, but I am hopeful that it's going to be soon. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that when this video drops, we can access the game and actually take advantage of this new update. And the way it works is that um, with the update, every single unit in the game now can have their link skills leveled up from 1 to 10. And each time it levels up, the boost gets better and better until it maxes out at level 10, of course. And an example would be Fierce Battle, which starts off at 15% attack at level 1, but at level 10, it becomes 20% attack. And other links out there will either increase attack, like uh, Fierce Battle, or get more defense, uh, give more key, crit chance, dodge chance, more healing, decrease the enemy's defense more, and so on and so forth. There's a bunch of different boosts out there. And if you guys want a full list of all the link effects, for every single link in the game at max level, level 10. I did make a video breaking all of that down earlier today, so feel free to go check that out through the link above my head. Okay, so that basically is the link level system. And one other thing I did want to mention before we get to, you know, the best stage is that you can actually level up the link skills for your units on any event in the game that requires stamina with the exception of world tournament you can't do world tournament but any other event in the game that uses stamina like a story mode or a story event or a dokkan event and so on and so forth is good okay so you can literally like be farming dupes for a free-to-play unit or farming their orbs or awakening medals and uh, be leveling up link skills as you go along but if you want to solely focus on leveling up link skills and you want to do it as efficiently as possible, then you want to pop over to the quest mode or the story mode and head down to area number 23 and play stage 8. So 23-8, based on my conversations with a lot of JP players as well as my research online, seems to be the most popular stage to farm link skills on right now and it makes a lot of sense for a couple of reasons number one it costs a decent amount of stamina and there is actually a direct correlation um, of uh, the stamina cost for a stage and also the likelihood that your links will level up so the higher the cost the stamina cost for a stage the higher the likelihood that your links will increase okay so 23 stamina for this stage is pretty good and the other reason it's awesome is because there's a bunch of fights on this stage. And every single time you finish a fight on a stage, there's a chance for the links for your units on the team to increase. So when you first pop in here, you want to go for the path that obviously gives you the most fights. Um, and it seems like we actually didn't get that good RNG here. So let's just pop over to the right path here. That's the path on the right. We got one Cyberman fight, so we can hopefully grab that. Yes, we can. And uh, as you guys saw, I, I, pro I chose the Fizz Broly as the friend, even though he doesn't really make sense for like the team, because every single fight with the Cyberman is going to have multiple Cybermen, right? So you want to bring as many AoE units as possible, 
And if there isn't an AoE unit on your team, then bring a, an AoE friend so you can at least use them to clear out the entire field in one hit, right? So once we finish this fight, we should get at least one, you know, increase in level, possibly multiple. I've had runs where I got like seven, but that's pretty rare. Okay, so as you can see, the, the Gogeta, the LR Gogeta got an increase, uh, AGL Gogeta as well. I don't know what the links are because I can't read Japanese, but this is good. This is good. Okay, so uh, STR Gogeta and Int Vegito as well. So four on that run right there. Level two link for the STR Gogeta, uh, level three link for the AGL Gogeta, level two for the Int Vegito, and level two for the STR Gogeta. So there you go. Pretty, pretty successful run right there. Let's uh, fight this Cyberman now. And uh, another thing to note, Another thing to keep in mind is that the lower the level of a link, the easier it is to level it up. The more likely it will um, increase after a fight, and the higher the level, the obviously the, the harder it is to level it up. So, from what I've seen and based on my experience, uh, it's really easy to level from one to five. But then between like five to ten, especially for the last couple of levels, like eight, nine, ten. It's really, really rare, and some people have spent like up to 10 stamina bars for one increase from level 9 to level 10. So this is definitely something that's meant to be done over a long period of time. I know a lot of people are going to try to max out their favorite units immediately, but uh, just know that it's, gonna, it's, it's most likely going to take a while, so try to be patient. And uh, if you play the game enough, right, if you do like story events and Dokkan events and all that stuff, you will be able to max out the link skills for the, the, your most used units. It's just, it's gonna be a process. It's gonna be a process. Um, I'm definitely not looking forward to it. Like I'm excited for it for sure, initially, but I mean, depending on, you know, how long this takes, if I wanna do showcases and stuff like that, as a content creator, I'm kind of obligated to, um, it could be pretty rough, you know, so for the STR Gogeta, we actually got two link increases to level four, one for the Tech Vegito, and one more for AGL Gogeta. So let's uh, head over to the top here and fight the Cybermen. Why did it? Hold on. I think it just disconnected for a second. I think we're good, though. Hopefully it remains stable. All right. Uh, oh, man. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me try to reconnect this. The Elgato sometimes has issues. I haven't had to deal with this for a while, but it does come back every once in a while. We're good though, right? I think we're good. Um, so that about covers it, guys. Stage 23-8 is, like I said, based on my research and conversations, the best stage. There are a lot of other good ones out there, like for example, the Raditz stage, the uh, Int Raditz one. Uh, with all the Cybermen fights, that's also a good stage, but it's not as good as this one for a couple of reasons, right? Number one, there are... Uh, oh, number one, it costs less stamina. So it's 15 stamina versus 23 for this one, and like I said, there is a direct correlation between the stamina cost of a stage and the likelihood of links increasing. So obviously you want to run the stage that has a higher stamina cost, and the other reason is that while there are a lot of fights on the Int Raditz event, um, they're not really spaced out that well. Like they're literally like one after another. So if you get bad rolls, then there's a pretty decent chance that you can miss a lot of the fights. Whereas for this one, uh, even though I didn't get the best rolls here, the fights are more spaced out. So the chances of you, you know, landing on more of them and getting more fights and getting more value for your stamina is, uh, you know, much higher, right? So. That's why I think this is better than the Int Raditz event, even though the Int Raditz one isn't bad. And if you get lucky and get a lot of like one or two rolls, you can definitely get a lot of fights. But uh, this one I think is still better. Okay, so 23-8 guys in the story mode. As you can see, getting tons and tons of level ups here in this video. It's going well. It could be going better, but it's going well. And you essentially just repeat this process over and over and over again until you get your units to the desired level. Um, as I said, if you wanted to max them out, that, that those final few increases are gonna be pretty tough, but it will happen if you're lucky enough. Um, and you know, just over 
a period of time. If you run and do enough runs, it will eventually happen. It's just gonna take some patience. Okay. Um, is there anything else to cover before we go? Let me think. Uh, oh, oh, so yeah, for units that have multiple stages or multiple phases, like this Gogeta or any other transforming unit, um, the links that are different between the stages are actually leveled up individually, all right? So even if you max out like all the links for the first stage, if there are some other links for the other phases that aren't maxed out, then they're not going to be automatically maxed out or anything like that. You do have to level up, you do, you do have to level them up individually, all right? So, you know, the base Godita here uh, for the SDR LR Godita and the blue Godita will have you know, some links that are leveled up individually. And uh, that's, I think, pretty much it. So we got one more fight here. Oh, actually, we can fight this Cyberman too. But you know what? I'm not going to do that in this video because I think it's gone on for long enough. <laughs> and uh, you guys get the point. So let's just fight Turles, finish the run, and call it a day. Oh, actually, another thing. Another thing that you guys might want to know is that if you quit the stage, if you quit the stage, uh, before fighting the final boss and completing it, um, you actually keep the levels that you, that you gained for your character's links, right? So let's say I didn't fight Turles and I choose to not complete the stage and I quit in the middle after doing a few fights, then I still keep those levels. And um, the reason that's useful is mainly because uh, if you're close to ranking up, but you don't want to rank up because you still got a bunch of stamina left over, you can actually just keep going to a stage doing a couple of fights or even actually you can even fight the final boss as long as you don't go you know go into the portal at the end then you can you know not gain any rank exp and keep doing that until you use up most of your stamina and uh you know you want to rank up at that point then that's cool right but that's also another i guess tip to uh remember but that is today's video guys okay stage 23 8 currently currently the best stage available in the game for farming your link levels uh, give it a shot good luck everybody if you think there's a better stage out there that's uh, you know more efficient that's quicker than 23 8 then feel free to let me know in the comments down below and I'll give it a shot but like I said man this is what most people tell me is the best this is what I, what is the best based on my experience you know playing the game and uh, that is the video guys all right good luck in your uh, link level farms Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Hopefully it's not too frustrating. But as I said, try to have some patience because those last couple of levels will be hard to get. That's just how it is. It's totally random. And uh, sometimes you just have bad RNG just like in summons. And it could take you up to 10 stamina bars or maybe even more for that final level. But it will happen eventually. Okay, it will happen eventually. That is today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys learned something. And as always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.